Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for all your very kind words. I'm deeply honored by the recognition that the ICLIF Leadership Energy Award has placed in my lifelong endeavor to bring about positive change to increasing access to life-saving medicines for most vulnerable segments of societies, especially women and children. It is delightful to be present among visionary leaders at this gathering and listening to an inspiring stories. Recently, I have achieved a dream and at the same time embarked on another life-saving journey, most probably the last chapter of my life. My dream comes in the shape of a truck that weighs five tons. This truck was donated to Krishna Kaisin Foundation by Thai Bev, Thai Beverage Public Company Limited. My team and I then designed and installed tailor-made herbal medicine processing machines at the back of the truck. It is Thailand's first mobile herbal plant processing truck and has passed vigorous and strenuous operation tests in the production of dry curcumin to preserve its high active ingredient. Right at the cultivation area, the herbal medicinal plants are quickly processed to produce fresh ingredients without having to wait for a long time for collecting big volume to send to faraway factories. <clears throat> this helps the farmer to save up on the transportation, storage, labor, and energy costs, and especially shortens the production time. Inside the mobile herbal processing truck, specialized machines wash, slice, and oven the herbal plants in microwave which helps to reduce the drying process from four to seven days to only two hours. The speedy processing of small amounts of herbal plants gathered at one time decreases the chances of them getting rotten or causing fungal contamination. This new innovation in the installation of specialized herbal processing machines on the truck for the cleaning, slicing, drying, and packing the herbal raw materials sets a new standard for learning on the development of herbal medicine. The unique processing method of organic herbal plants grown according to good agricultural practice, or GAP, contributes to the conservation of the natural environment by not dumping waste onto the surrounding area. Thorough quality control process at every step of processing ensures the issuance of quality certificate of product prior to delivery. While I was doing the test run on the truck's operation, I visited Suansaranrom Public Health Mental Hospital in Suratani province in the south of Thailand to work with the director of the hospital, his medical personnel, and the patients suffering from mental effects of narcotic drugs, whom I would like to call them my students, all of them young men, on the rehabilitation of their health. The students learn to grow vegetable, herbs, and medicinal plants, and shortly delivered their products to market to earn income. They also learn skills and techni techniques in herbal plant processing, which enable them to make living while they return home. <coughs> the truck and Suan Saran Rom model propelled me to travel to far away place in Peru, in Latin America. In September this year, for the last leg again of my life-saving journey for a collaboration project between Thailand and Peru on the rehabilitation of the vulnerable people from narcotic drugs by herbal medicine and its income-generating 
livelihood. In 2016, Peru was the second largest cultivator of coca, with an estimated 46,500 hectares under cultivation. Despite the Peruvian government's effort to address drug addiction and trafficking, domestic consumption of illicit drugs is growing, particularly in mid-sized cities east of the Andes, where much of the drug production occurs and in coastal transit cities where most of the Peruvian people live. There are approximately 60,000 people addicted to cocaine and the larger number of marijuana users, while the number of treatment centers cannot keep up with the demand. Abuse of the low price and highly addictive coca is also increasing. This, this project is underway. There can be no one-size-fits-all solution. But I believe that the dissemination of knowledge, expertise, and best practices in the creation of employment opportunities from the cultivation, processing, and manufacturing of herbal medicine will assist our Peruvian friends in the rehabilitation of former drug users Many of them are young people. They are vulnerable families and communities. The success of the project will not depend on medicinal plants alone. The person's commitment is a powerful curing force in the treatment. Their attitude of self-worth and recognition by those around them will return and sustain them to be good and productive citizen. It is our collective duty of care that will make a positive impact on the future of our society. Thank you for the opportunity to share my stories with you. Thank you very much.